John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Sky Ready RC Reflex. This is a new racing frame by Sky Ready RC, a team out in Texas that produces a number of great custom frames. This is an evolution on their previous frame, which we had on the channel here, the Cobra SLX. And that was a notable frame in that it had single screw arm swaps, but it actually had an arm holding together system made with CNC aluminum pieces at the front and rear, making it really tough, very stiff, no arm wiggle. And they have made a new revision. It's on the reflexes. This is a lighter frame that builds upon the Cobra SLX line and eliminates the CNC front and rear arm holding system and instead uses a key system that reduces weight and complexity while retaining the ability to lock the arms in place and replace arms with only a single screw. That in combination with newly designed arms that retain the front impact protection while reducing material from the side yields a 10 gram weight savings over the Cobra. Some notable nice features are that you have a full 20 by 20 stack access without the need to take off the bottom plate, upgrade and new camera mount options that with a little more protection as well as universal style if you don't use the same camera that it was designed for. Sky Ready RC does use the popular and strong T700 carbon fiber, so expect those pieces to deal with crashes a little bit better than average. Included are a variety of nice prints, including an SMA mount, micro axi mount, flip, fin, and a capacitor holder. Some of the nice features like the arrow indicator on the top, bottom, and mid plates made this the easiest frame assembly I've had in years. And if that's not enough, they have a fully assembled diagram to help with that piece as well. As frame design evolves over time, some tend to get so complex that it can take a ton of time just to assemble it before you ever start your build. I prefer it to be kind of like Transformers when you were a kid. Yes, you could take the time to look at the little instruction booklet, but the challenge was to see how quickly you could figure it out on your own. It was almost like a puzzle. And although I don't get the same satisfaction putting a frame together like I solved a puzzle, I don't want it to be so complex that it feels like a puzzle, if that makes any sense. This is a welcome change that adds design features while keeping the assembly and maintenance simple. It's strong, it's light, and it's relatively inexpensive. So it's a good option if you're looking for something to be able to convert your racing or start racing. What frame are you racing with? Leave it below in the comments, whether it's this one, an open racer, something by 533, or something different altogether. This is actually a sample of one of their pre-built racing drones. So if you don't feel like or have time for building one up yourself, Sky Ready RC will do the honors for you and ship it to you ready to turn on and send it. Making it a little bit lighter and going with a carbon fiber key system, reducing the complexity and reducing the overall weight by 10 grams. This is a really nice option if you want something that's both tough and light. It comes in at 62 grams for the frame by itself, so it's definitely on the lighter side, but you get a little bit more protection than some of the other light frames on there. As you can see, the tips of the arms are actually protected right there um, going this way, but they've eliminated the side one, so it's not going to be protected if you fly side into something, but if you hit something head on, you will be totally protected. They also have a new camera mount that has a little bit more protection right here, a very easily attachable zip tie. You can see compared to the previous generation that they have reduced a lot of material in different ways, but still left your stack and components very nicely protected. So where does this fit in comparison with the other racing frames? Things that are made by 533 are definitely kind of the standard these days. The light switch though is gonna be ultimate lightweight thing also easy to build but it's going to have a little bit less durability if you want the maximum amount of durability you get something very heavy like the open racer that we fly here at the night spot um, but by the time you add the brace and this pctpe nylon blend canopy you are going to be very very heavy this is going to be kind of a compromise between those two points a lot of strength there 
and lightweight so it's kind of a good middle ground all around option and the things that i like the best are that it's just probably the fastest easiest frame i've had to build it was just so easy to put together i didn't even have to look at it which is great because i often don't look at instructions do you want just something that's tough and lightweight to cruise around the park do you prefer cruising around in racing style frames versus freestyle frames or do you want to try your hand at your first race? This is a nice option. Links in the description below. Let's check out some of the Temple guys, Sky Ready RC, going around the track where they fly in Temple, Texas. If you've seen my videos on Texas Winter Nationals, that's the field that they use down in Temple, Texas. I have a really nice video about 10 tips to go to your first race. If you want to know how to get started, check that one out there below.